Animal dissection has been taught in the United States for more than 150 years. It is estimated that 75 to 80 percent of the nation's 4 million high school students will dissect at least one animal. Today, dissecting a frog in biology class is considered an educational rite of passage. However, controversy has surfaced surrounding the moral aspects of animal dissection. The question we ask today is, do the educational benefits of animal dissection outweigh the ethical and ecological costs? The National Association of Biology Teachers asserts that no alternative can substitute for the actual experience of dissection. Animal dissection develops skills of observation and comparison, fosters a deeper understanding of the shared and unique structures and processes of specific organisms, and stimulates a greater appreciation for the complexity of life. Animal dissections allow students to acquire hands-on experience in an interactive manner. Students are able to actually feel organs and encounter anatomical surprises that are excluded from typical textbook discussions while cooperating with partners or groups. Real-life dissections also offer a wide variety of organisms to explore. 170 species of non-human animals are dissected in American classrooms while virtual dissections are limited to a select group of specimens. Scientific research is founded upon dissections. Animal dissection in high school encourages students to explore scientific fields that involve animal anatomy, including medical research, testing, and surgery. There is a growing movement of kids against dissection in the United States. Kids in Nature's Defense and Students for the Rights of Animals are proponents of this movement in Connecticut and California. States such as Florida, Maryland, New York, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island have passed legislation protecting a student's right to opt out of dissection. Vita argues that dissection teaches students to think of animals as learning tools, not living organisms. They believe kids develop a lack of sympathy towards specimens as they use scalpels to slice open bellies and poke around organs. In addition to ethical reservations, opponents of animal dissection highlight ecological concerns surrounding the issue. Of the animals killed for dissection in the United States, the Humane Society estimates 99% are wild caught. Bullfrogs and leopard frogs are the main subjects used in animal dissections, but biological supply companies are unable to breed these frogs in a cost effective manner. So, these companies rely on harvesters to steal frogs from their natural habitats. Massive collection of frogs has depleted local populations of this keystone species. Other concerns regarding animal dissection include student safety, squeamishness, and cost of specimens and materials. So what is the solution to the dissection dilemma? Many argue that animal dissection alternatives such as videotapes, three-dimensional anatomical models, pictorial atlases, and interactive CD-ROMs are both cost-effective and educationally beneficial.
In a study that randomly chose 400 first-year biology students to participate in a qualitative and quantitative survey, it was concluded that the understanding of animal structure and function were nearly equal in virtual dissections and animal dissections. While virtual dissections may eventually replace the hands-on experience that has been practiced in the United States for the past 150 years, a survey at a local high school reveals that 79% of the students in Mrs. Rawls' AP Biology class prefer real dissections to virtual animal dissections. 50% of these students find real dissections more educationally beneficial than textbook lessons or virtual dissections. More students feel moderately to extremely comfortable dissecting animals. However, the class is divided evenly over whether capturing wild animals for dissection should be illegal or not. It would appear that Mrs. Rawls' students lean in favor of traditional animal dissection.